Hello there, welcome to the Deep YouTube channel and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best 5 app sync codes to use. So if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if this is your first time in this YouTube channel, I talk about Android TV, Android TV boxes and videos will be here or shared here that help you improve your Android TV with certain applications. So make sure to like and subscribe. Also turn on the post notifications so that once I drop a video, you'll be one of the first person to be notified. Before we continue, I want to show you this TV box I'm currently using called S5 Max Link TV Box and it's very good with 4K images and 4K videos. Also, it comes with various applications, some basic applications and it has an app store. Now, not all applications are in the app store, so you can also add an other app store if you're interested in more applications. Here are the various applications in these app stores and there are lots of them and they are very nice applications. You can just go ahead and try out. So let's try out one of the applications like my VOD. It gives you uh, videos on demand. Also, there's another application like my TV. It gives you channels that you can watch on your Sling TV box. So these are some, some of the applications in this TV box. This TV box has a 116 gigabyte speech and also it is very, very affordable. If you want to know more, Check the description on this video there is a link that is going to lead you to where you see all the features of this tv box now let's continue so that's it let's go ahead with this video so as i said i want to show you the five best app sync codes to use and we are going to start by installing the app sync application to android tv now you already have the app sync application to android tv they can skip this step but if you don't have to just follow quickly i'm going to show this as quickly as possible so to install the app sync application we need to download the application on android tv as you can see on my screen here, I already have downloader, but I'm assuming not everybody knows how to install downloader. But to install downloader is simple. Go back to your browser or your Play Store, whatever option you use. And in your, on your Play Store, you're going to go to the search box and type downloader. So you come over here and type downloader on your search box. And here is it over here. And I just go ahead and search. And it will be very easy if your Android TV have Play Store. So what you have to do, just go out there, Google Play and search for downloader. We are going to see the application here. But now, once you've seen it here, just go ahead and click install and it's going to install. I already have it on my Android TV, so I'm just going to go ahead and launch it. So I go over here to the home. This is how it looks like once you launch your first time. And to install the app sync app, just have to go over to the code section here and type in the code 80434. So once you type in this code, well, all you have to do ahead is click go. So this code is going to lead us to where we can install the app sync application. So our Android TV is very, very easy. The code is 80434. Once you launch it, this is how it looks like. So we need to install AppSync. So once you go over here to install AppSync, what you have to do is you click on this download v3.4. So click there and AppSync is going to start downloading to Android TV. Now the apps or oh, file sync is downloaded. We have to go ahead and click install. And now it's going to show us this. This is just our Android TV trying to force us not to install the application. So click on install anyway. And then now that it's installed, you're going to click done and you delete the app file from your Android TV. So that's how to install files into your Android TV. Once you're done, you can just return home and come over to your apps here and you're going to see the application. So here's it here, file sync. So if you know how file sync works, you need to type in code. And that's what I'm going to be showing you here. I'm going to show you five sample or best codes of 2025 or whatever year you're watching this video so these are the codes that are working so the first code is easy i just go over here and i type five eight times so here's the first code five 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 eight times and what you do after typing you just click on enter code so here's the code library here are the applications here there are a couple of them i'm blurring this so that youtube doesn't take down my video for showing some applications so here is the first library and if you want to install a code on the on the right of the app, there is an option that says install and there's an option that says YouTube. Please click on the green button that allows you to install any application that you want. So this is the first code and these applications are working. You can install anyone here. So we're going to go to the next code. As I said, I want to show you five codes. So the next code is 9876969. So that's the next code. Once you type in the code, all you have to do is you click enter and then it is going to launch in the library that you want. So this is the code here and there are various applications that you can install from this library code. So that's the second code. We're going to move on straight to the third code. I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. So bear with me. Once you type in the code yourself, you can take out your time and check out the different applications in this code. So the next code is 9876863. Once you type in the code, just as usual, click enter code. 
and this other code is good because it has different categories of applications here so you can see there are fire text tools there are movie and tv shows there's light tv sports and coding so if you go over to a library uh like this or a category like this and click on it it's going to show you the various applications that are there go over to the next one it's also going to show you the various applications that are there so this is how this library works so let's move on to the next library before moving to the next library i just want to see this why browsing your android tv or installing applications like this it is very absolutely important for you to use a vpn because it is very risky browsing on the internet without security yeah android tv is open to hackers or open to applications that might steal your information from the by the internet so it's very important for you to use a vpn while browsing on your android tv or even installing applications like this and as a matter of fact some of these applications might not work perfectly on your android tv if you are not using a vpn so please make sure you are using a vpn while browsing in the description of this video i have shared a vpn that you can use it's called not vpn so you can check it out if you love it please subscribe and use it because it keeps you secure on the internet and also it helps you on unlock certain limitations that might come across on the internet so please please use a vpn check it out if you, if still you don't like the vpn in the description just check the internet there are other vpn options that you can use so it is very important for you to use a vpn that's it let's move on to the next code the next code that we're going to use is so as you type in the code just go over to enter and click enter and it's going to show you the, the apps in this library so here they remember i'm blurring this so that my video is not taken down so that was your fourth code on the type in you can Take out your time and check all the applications that are in that code so let's move to the next code which is the last code which is one zero 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 one three once you type in the code you just go ahead and click enter and as you can see on my android tv here are the various applications in this code now if you could have realized something about this application it looks familiar to only the only difference is that the libraries don't have lots of applications the library has just have like five or ten applications or at times just five applications so this is how these codes are. So as a matter of fact, in the five codes I've shared, you realize that they were not even up to uh, more than 10 applications in one code. So you might need more applications. What if the codes I just shared with you don't have all the applications that you have? And that's one thing I love about this application because even if you don't know the code, you can come out to this option here that says trending codes. I can see other codes apart from the five codes I just shared with you. So if the five codes I just shared with you are not okay, you can come out to this option that says trending codes and click on it and you're going to see other codes that are trending as a matter of fact as you can see on my screen here these are the top codes that are used by different people as you can see these are some of the codes that are shared so there are many of them here but now if you are not interested in the codes that are being showed here all of these codes have applications if I, if I go to an example like this that i did not show in my video i click on it you are going to see different applications that are shared here so what i was saying that if, that if the codes that are shared with you are not okay you can cover the option here that says codes and you see other codes as more of i can check out the new codes these are codes that are just being released and some of them are free some of them are unlocked some of them are locked so these are other codes they can check out and they have their own applications that they are there so these are also there's an option for verified code if you can verify codes it's going to show you the codes here that are all verified and this also just helps you know that some of these applications are secured so if you go to a code like this and click on it you're going to see what is inside so you can just check out, take out your time and browse through and see all the possible codes that you can use on the Vicing application. And if anyone suits you, just go ahead and install the application to Android TV and then you can go ahead and start using. So that's it about this video. And I've showed you five codes and also how to check out different codes on this Android TV app called Vicing. So if you love it, like and subscribe for more videos like this.